This is James Fox with another video tutorial for Microsoft Excel. In this tutorial, we're going to create an amortization schedule based on repaying a mortgage. Now I have some basic information here. Purchase price of $125,000, a down payment of $25,000, the amount financed, the interest rate, and the total number of payments. Now the first thing that I have to do is calculate the monthly payment, which I'm going to do by using the PMT function. So I click on my Insert Functions button, type in PMT, click Go, select PMT, and click OK. Now the most important piece of information you're going to enter into the Function Arguments dialog box is the interest rate. Now the interest rate that's quoted to you is the annual interest rate. However, to figure out the monthly payments, we must divide the annual interest rate by the number of payments we're going to make within a year. So in this case, it's going to be 12 payments in a year. So I'm going to click on the interest rate and divide it by 12 to get the monthly interest rate. Now the next field is the in per field, which is the total number of payments for the loan. And our total number of payments is 360, which also represents 30 years. The PV field is the present value of the loan amount, which is the same thing as the amount financed, $100,000. And click OK. Now it is a negative, and the reason why it's a negative is because whenever you're making a payments towards a loan, it is a cash outflow to you. I'm simply going to adjust it by putting a negative sign right in front of B4, which is the sale for the amount that we're financing, and hit enter. Now the monthly payment is $536 and some change. Now we're going to calculate how much of that $536 payment goes towards the monthly interest and the monthly principal. Then we're going to find out the cumulative principal as time goes on and the cumulative interest. So before I make any monthly payments, my principal balance is $100,000. Now we're going to calculate how much of the $536 payment goes towards the interest. So I'm going to hit equal and then I'm going to select the interest rate. Now once again we have to find out what the monthly interest is going to be. So I do have to divide by 12 and then you multiply that by the amount of the principal balance which is 100,000 and hit enter. Now for that first month when you make that $536 payment $416 of it is going towards interest. How much goes towards principal? Well, you simply subtract the interest from the monthly payment. So I'm going to select the monthly payment and press F4. Then I'm going to subtract the interest. So $120 of that payment goes towards the principal. $416 goes towards the interest. Now, as time goes on, we want to know the cumulative principal and interest. Now the cumulative principal is obviously going to equal $100,000 at the end of the loan term. But at some point during the loan, you might want to know how much principal you've paid down, maybe at payment number 11 or 16. And we're going to calculate that. We're also going to find out how much cumulative interest we're going to pay over the life of the loan as well. Now it's a very easy function that we're going to enter in to find out the cumulative principal as time goes on. I'm going to press the equal sign, select the current principal, hit the plus sign, and I'm going to click the cell above the cumulative principal because for the first month I'm not adding anything to the cumulative principal. However, as time goes on, and you'll see when I drag all the formulas down, you'll see that I'm going to add the current principal plus the cumulative principal. And I'm going to do that all the way down. I'm going to do the same thing for the cumulative interest. So once again, I press the equal sign, click on the current amount of interest, and I'm going to add the, the previous amount of interest to that, and hit the equal sign. And to find out the principal balance, we simply subtract the previous principal balance minus the amount of principal that was paid for that month. Now we're going to select all of the formulas, bring my mouse over to the lower right hand corner until I see the plus sign and double click and it'll drag the formula all the way down until 360. Now the formula has been posted in each cell all the way down until the last payment. So let's say for example you want to 
find out the cumulative principal payment at payment number 98 and the cumulative interest and you have it there. And that's how you create an amortization table based on repaying a mortgage. If you have any questions, please email me. Once again, this is James Fox and I'll see you next time.